Hi hey guys, in his tutorial part two for the Wally -E model that we're building in Blender. So at the end of part one, you should have a basic model shape. It looks something like this, which is the body um, cube of Wally. -E. And in this tutorial, we're going to be begin to add in some of these other details um, that you can see on the body here. So if you haven't modeled this far yet, then go over to tutorial one, you can follow along and you can also download as well the model as it is at the end of tutorial one. So you can pick up here in tutorial two. So we're gonna start first by selecting this top edge here and we're going to extrude it upwards. So we hit E, and we'll extrude it up. Once we've extruded this edge up, we're then going to want to make this front into one face. So we're going to remove this edge. We're also going to remove this face that is not needed. Now we can reselect these edges here so that we can recreate the face. So make edge and face there. So now we have one face without the dividing line that was under there. And that's important because when we add the bevel tool, you'll see why. So we'll select that top edge. We go control B for the bevel tool. And no, we need to join. There's a vertex there that uh, is left behind. So we should join that up first of all. So we select these vertices here. So the top one and the one underneath. And we'll merge those. Now select the top edge, control B for bevel, and we can bevel this edge. Now you see it gives a flat edge, but we want it to be curved, so we just increase the number of segments to that bevel up to eight, and then we have our beveled curved front edge there, the console. Now we need to do a similar thing at the rear here, because you'll see in our blueprint, there's a curve also at the back. So we're going to add that in. By basically doing the same thing, we're going to remove the unnecessary geometry to start with. So we'll delete these two edges. And then we'll select the perimeters. So we can recreate that face. Right, let's remove this edge here because this one is not needed. Once we've selected all those edges, we'll do the same as we did at the front, which is to create the face. So make faces from edges. Now we're going to do the same thing on the side here. So we'll remove that edge. Now we'll select all of the leftover edges. And make the face. While we're here, we'll get rid of that extra vertex that we've got, which is not needed. And around here, we're going to do the same thing remove this edge select them all make edge and face get rid of the old vertex that's no longer needed and then we'll do the same at the top as the final one Select our edges and make the face. Back over into vertex mode and we'll get rid of this vertex which is not needed. And now we're good to bevel this back edge. So we'll select that edge, control B, and we can bevel it into the curve 
like so. And because we've got our mirror modifier, remember everything that we do on one side will be mirrored on the other side. So everything we've done there, you can see is automatically translated across to the other side. Now we're going to do the details on the front here. So we want to do these, these recessed um, cutaways. Now, again, because of our mirror modifier, whatever we do on the right will be mirrored on the left. So we just need to do half of the center one and the whole one on the right, and then it will be mirrored over to the left side. You'll see what I mean now. So if we come across to the front view, and then we're going to get our knife tool, and we're going to cut from this edge. Hit C for constraints, so we make sure we have a straight line, and we go all the way over to the other side. Get the knife again, do the same. And then we're going to cut also over here. Once we're done with that, you can then select an individual edge and we can resize it a little bit if we, because we want to have these about the same. So this should be half of the width of this one. Position it where we need. Go to face select mode again, select those faces, E to extrude, and we extrude it inwards a little bit. Now we're left over with a face there that's not needed, so we go X to delete that face. And now we have our recessed area on the front of the character. I want to do these recessed lines there, so we go over to the front view again, and it's done in basically exactly the same way. Remember, everything you do on the right will be mirrored on the left. So we only want to do, at the moment, details which are on both sides. So we don't want to start doing this detail yet. We'll do that in the next tutorial. So we want to do only the details that are mirrored on both sides. So we're going to add in now these two um, parts there. So we're going to get our knife tool, and if you hold down the control key, you'll see it snaps to the center there. So we'll make that one, get our edge tool, uh, edge select, and we're going to drag that up a little bit. Let's check our reference for the positioning. Okay. Knife tool again, control, so that we snap to the center, that makes sure that we get a straight line. Check the spacing again. So you want to constantly always make sure that you, you keep checking your reference model so that our proportions and everything are about what they should be. And you can actually set up the reference images inside of Blender itself and use that as like a template to draw around. Um, that's another modeling method which is used. But I'm just, I haven't done that with this. I just want to keep on referring across to my references because um, Sometimes you don't want to make an exact carbon copy, sometimes you do, but uh, I'm just going to eyeball this stuff. Alright, um, so then we're going to need a vertical line on the end there. So we'll add that in. We can go to our front view. Zoom in on this area. Hit the knife tool. We're going to cut and see there's one and do the same here. So now we've done that, we can then select the two faces that we've created 
And again, we're going to use the extrude tool and drag those inwards a little bit. And again, what we did on one side is reflected on the other side. Now, once we light this model and texture and everything later on, you'll get a better idea um, of, of how this looks. Right now, we're just using the default rendering and, and lighting, so you can't see all of the shadows and details, but um, it is there and it will show up better later on. So all of these details are basically done in, in, in the same way um, by, by using the knife tool, cutting them out, and then extracting them or extruding them um, inwards or outwards. So the last one we're going to do now is going to be on the side of Wally here, which is going to be the um, hole for the arms, which is copied on both sides. And then we're also going to do this um, top area. But I'm going to leave you to do this top part yourself. You should have an idea now. It's done in the same way as, as these sections were done also. Um, so this one is also going to be done in the same way. So I'll show you one last time. And then I'll leave you to do this top area yourself. You should be able to manage that. Um, with the information that you've got from this tutorial. So we'll go back over into edit mode and we're going to look at a side view. So the whole cutaways for the arms are approximately in the rear quarter of the box and probably about one eighth down from the top. So that's where we're going to need to create our cuts. So it's going to be around, this is the back here, this area. See for constraints. make sure that we get this um, square. It can sometimes be a bit tricky lining up these. Okay. So now the knife has actually cut out the hole for us, already there. Now we're just going to get these edges and move them around to put them into the position where we actually want the hole for the arms. So we'll go across our reference image just to check that we've got those in about the right place. Looks about right to me there. Now, I don't want to just have a hole like that. It really does look like this wally has got no thickness to it. So um, we'll select these edges. I'm going to make a face with those edges. And we'll select that face. That face is going to be extruded inwards. Like so. So that will help later on um, with giving shadows and stuff inside of that recessed area there. If we want this, these uh, lines that were created, they, they can also actually be removed. And then you have to go around like we did earlier and reselect all of the edges to recreate that face. Um, the same as we did at the front then you can recreate it with without those construction lines in there. Um, so that should give you enough information now um, to begin adding in more of the details. So you just keep on cutting it away in the same method that we've shown here. Um, keep on referring across to your reference image. So focus on this top area. Um, cut them out in exactly the same way. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to then apply the mirror modifier because we've done all of the parts which need to be mirrored. and 
we'll actually then begin with doing some of the details like this pipe and the detail to the front console there um, and then we'll begin to construct the neck and head area. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next tutorial. As usual you can download the latest project file for Blender um, as far as we've got at the end of this tutorial so you can open it up and actually play around with the model yourself and see what it is that we've created. The link is below the video. Please subscribe to the channel and hit like if you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.